Hi, I'm Nicole, a fitness expert from sparkpeople.com. Today I will lead you through day one of our seven day boot camp workout program. Today is going to be a short cardio workout that you can do in your home, even on the road. You don't really need very much space at all to do this and you don't need any equipment. So I'm gonna start by marching here. So we talk a little bit more about this workout and get warmed up, so go ahead and join me. Want to keep those abs in, lift the knees and pump the arms as we get warmed up. Think about lifting your knee towards the ceiling a little bit, but we're starting with a small march. So throughout this workout, um, it's going to be up to you to work at your own level. These exercises will vary in intensity. Some will be easier than others. Some will be much more intense than others. So don't be afraid to modify in some way or to just bring back to this level where you're marching if you feel like you need to take a break or if you feel like one of the exercise options is too difficult for you. Also important along those lines is that you go at your own pace. You don't have to go as quick or as slow as I do for any of these. And you're paying attention to how you feel and you never just stop abruptly. So even if you feel very tight or out of breath, try to stay moving a little bit even if you're just marching or stepping in place, all right. So we're almost done with our warm up here. A few more seconds of this march. Let's lift those knees a little higher, pump those arms a little bigger, and always try to get the arms moving on these exercises as much as you can. Now we're gonna take it to a high knee. So I'm reaching overhead, driving that knee towards the ceiling. Make sure you're just breathing steady, never holding that breath. Abs are still in tight. You're marching and lifting that knee at your own pace, working through your own range of motion. Hopefully you're starting to feel that heart rate getting up there already. A few more seconds of this before we change it up just a little. So I've got the knees in front now. Same exact movement pattern. I'm just gonna take the knees to the sides a little. So I'm swinging the arms side to side a little bit instead of right out in front. Still lifting those knees up towards the ceiling. So hopefully you feel that heart rate getting up there a little more. Coming up will work a little more intensely but you can always bring it back to this marching level. A few more seconds, just like this. Got about five more seconds. Coming up, we're moving into jumping jacks whenever you're ready. I'm gonna show you the modification first. It's one arm and one leg. So here's your easier level of intensity if you're just starting out or feel like you need a break. Otherwise, full jumping jacks, moving at your own pace. Steady breath. Arms up, legs wide. We're gonna be here for a little bit longer. Make sure those knees are soft. You don't wanna keep those legs perfectly straight or the arms. I've got the elbows bent, got the knees bent a little. I'm landing softly on the feet each time I jump out and in. If you get tired, one arm option. So just remember you can come to that. Good, hold it here a little bit longer. We're gonna try about 15 more seconds with your jumping jack or your option for easier intensity. Coming up, we're gonna change it up by adding a forward punch. So three, two, one. One more jack, then I'm gonna twist and punch out in the front and alternate sides each time. So it's jack and a jab. Notice my one leg comes out in front each time as I punch, my whole body turns to the side. That's what you want. And again, make this easier if you need to. You can still do that option with one side of the body. Good, you're almost there. Let's make sure we even out those sides. One more with each arm. Now take those feet wide. We're gonna hold it low in a squat and do a small pulsing squat right here. So I've got my feet a little wider than the hips. The toes slightly turned out. And I'm staying low with those knees deeply bent. Tiny little movement up and down. Make sure you're breathing steady. Hopefully this is giving you a little bit of a break. Your heart rate is coming down some, but you're really gonna feel those legs work. A few more seconds. Then we're gonna add a squat with a kick. Here's three, two, one. I'm gonna bring the legs in a little closer. Squat down, kick front. Squat down, switch legs, kick front. So I'm sitting back into my squat as far and as deeply as I feel like I'm in control with. And again, the kick up doesn't have to be high. This can be low to the floor. 
It can also be a smaller squat, okay? So keep it at your own level. Always leading with the knee, then extending the leg. Couple more. One more on each side. All right, bring it back to the front. Now I'm gonna take small little lunges, jumping. So I'm scissoring the legs a little bit. Here's your easier option. One leg out in front, my legs are mostly straight. Harder option is a little bit of a lunge each time. Make sure you're working at your own level. Let's try this one for about 15 more seconds. And again, straighten those legs out a little bit to make it easier. Deeper squat or lunge here will make it harder. Here's four, three, two, one. Go ahead and launch it out in place. I want to give you a chance to allow your party to come back down a little. So try to regain control of your breath. Let's work it a little bit easier. Tends to here for a few more seconds. Because coming up, as we get to finish this workout, are two most intense exercises. So after a few more seconds here marching on a comfortable level, we're going to move into squat thrusts. And if you have any back issues or you're more of a beginner, don't do these ones. Do any one of the options that we've done already for this workout. All right, about five more seconds that we're getting ready. We'll try 30 seconds of these. Go ahead and turn yourself to one side. We squat all the way down, place your hands to the floor, kick the legs out, bring them together and up. So it's squat, kick, together, and up. You can make this easier by doing one foot at a time, okay? Make sure those abs are in tight. And if this is too challenging for you for whatever reason, I want you to come to an easier option like marching that we started with earlier in the workout. Good, two more times. Last one, bring it back to your march face front. Good, so that was one of our two tough ones. We're gonna finish with one more challenge before we cool it down. So give me a few more seconds here, marching. Up those arms, lift the knees, move at your own pace. Coming up, we'll be down in that same position for what we call mountain climbers. And again, a little more intense, modify to your own level if you need to. Go ahead and turn it to the side. I'm gonna squat all the way down, kick one leg out. So you're alternating legs. One knee in, one leg out. The quicker you do this, the harder you're working. But you don't have to go that fast. You can step it in and out one at a time or take it a little slower. Keep those abs engaged. Good, we've got about 10 seconds here. It's all downhill after this one. You're almost there, finish out strong. Four more. Here's two, one. Bring it up, roll that spine up and march. The worst is over. <laughs> so let's stay right here as we begin to cool down. So we wanna lower our intensity and our pace. And I'm gonna take it a little wider, side to side. Notice my arm movement is a little bit smaller than when we did this during our warm up. So we're preparing the body to return to that resting level. Your heart rate drops, taking deeper breaths in and out. I'm gonna slow it down a little more. Make that side to side step smaller. Return to your small march in front. Very little arm movement. I want you to take as long as you feel like you need at this level before you stretch. So if I begin the stretches and you're not ready to cool down and stop, you need a little more time to bring that heart rate down, take as long as you need. Let's just take about 15 more seconds at this level. I'm gonna slow that pace down a little more. I'm gonna bring my hands to my hips, get rid of that arm movement. Take a couple of deep breaths in and out. And then coming up here, we're gonna move into our stretches. You're already almost done with this short cardio workout. All right, let's take those feet nice and wide, wider than the hips. We're gonna take a deep breath, squat straight down and reach those arms overhead. And release, let's do that one two more times. Slow, deep breath, nice squat down, reach up and release. From here, I want you to just circle forward with the shoulders. Slow, deep breaths along with it. Make those circles really big. One more time. Now we're gonna take them backwards, circles back. 
make sure you're not holding your breath at all. One more time, all the way back. Let's bring the legs together. I'm gonna to take my left foot out in front, toe popped, bend that right knee and stretch. I'm supporting myself with my hands on the thighs and keeping the back nice and straight. If you have more flexibility, take another breath and then exhale. See if you can come closer to that leg with your body. Make sure as you hold your stretch, you're working through your own range of motion and you're breathing the whole time. Let's slowly roll that spine all the way back up and switch legs. Right foot, toe popped. Sit back like you're sitting back into a chair and hold that stretch right there. Back is nice and straight. Slow, deep breath. If you've got more flexibility, breathe in and come closer to that leg for a deeper stretch. Don't hold your breath there. Let's slowly roll it back up. Couple more quick stretches, we're almost done. Let's take those feet wide. We're gonna squat straight down. And from here, I want you to reach your fingertips towards the floor, straighten the legs as much as you can. Notice I've got a nice flat back here. If that's too difficult, I want you to stay in just your little squat. And if you have more flexibility, one more breath in, and exhale, collapse a little deeper into that stretch. Relax the head and neck. And from here, we'll slowly walk the heels and toes in. Bringing those legs together. One more deep breath here and slowly roll that spine all the way back up. Draw the shoulders down and back and you're finished. You've just finished day one of your boot camp workout. Um, for more fitness ideas, visit sparkpeople.com.